Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a face mask. Now, I kind of avoided doing this video because I didn't want to do it wrong. I didn't want to make a bad face mask. Now, the disclaimer is this is not a medical grade face mask. This is an at-home, DIY, handmade. What you do with it is up to you. And I will make sure that somewhere along here I put an additional disclaimer. But anyway, what I started with, and I'm showing you a pattern because a lot of people like dimensions. So you just need a piece of fabric, uh, nine by six inches long. And there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, you can do it with just one layer of fabric. And I think for this one, that's what I'm going to do. It'll just be easiest to show you this one. This is the easiest way I have found to make a mask in a, a few minutes. Probably shorter than it takes me to show you. So I'm going to just set this one aside. And then when we do a different type of mask, I'll show you that later. So you've got your one piece of fabric, which is nine by, make sure you can see that, nine by six inches uh Nine inches wide by six inches uh, long. So that is nine by, oops, six and a half, which is fine. Six inches, six and a half. And you're going to need two of these hair, stretchy hair things. Um, first thing I did was I ironed it out. So, because what you want to do is you want to fold it and you want to make pleats. Because you want it to expand um, when you have it on. So, just fold once, fold twice. Because um, you want to get it down to about, I'm sorry. Just fold it once. Fold it twice. And fold it a third time. Okay. Easy peasy, right? So, just hold that down. You can just press it out with your hands. You can get some pins and pin it down. I'm going to take it over to the iron and just press these seams so they'll look nice. Um, and this will be, obviously, a washable mask. Um, if I do decide to sell some of these, I will let you know the link to my Etsy store. And... You can buy them at a reasonable price because I've got a lot of leftover extra fabric. So you've got one, two, three folds, just like that. So we're going to go, I'm going to go iron this so my folds will stay down and then we're going to stitch along both sides. Okay, so what I did, I took it over to the iron and I made little pleats. So I fold it once, twice, three times. So now I want to stitch along the edge here and you only need to go over about a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to stitch on the other side. Okay, now I made a stitch right across there and a stitch right across there. Because what the mask will do, it will open up. Okay, so let me keep my little pleats. And then I'm going to take one of these stretchy rubber bands. They have different kinds of these bands. Um, here's one I used before. Some of the bands that you may get at the store might have like this little metal piece in there. And if you use those, just make sure... You keep it on the, the little inside pocket of the mask so it doesn't bother you or scratch you. Um, so, just take your band and just put it, just run it through right there like that. Because um, what you're going to do is you're going to just fold it down and stitch right there. You're going to, let me lay this down and let me zoom in so you can see. Just want to make sure everybody can see that. Okay. This is the end. 
side where you made that stitch. And what you're wanting to do is fold the fabric over and you're just gonna stitch right across here. And you can do this with your sewing machine or you can do it by hand. I'm gonna just take a pen and pin it in place so I can take it over to the sewing machine. And masks like this are really easy to make. Now this is just one, sorry, this is just one layer of cloth. This doesn't have a lining or anything else in it. This is just a real super simple, super quick way to make a face covering. Okay, so I've got that size pinned and I'm gonna take my other elastic band, just gonna slip it inside. Just slide it onto there. Cause you wanna be comfortable and stylish. So, and then just fold that over. And the size of the mask you make is entirely up to you. You can make it a little longer. You can make it a little larger if you like. So, all right, I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine, stitch it, and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have this on my sewing machine. And yes, I'm going to pull this pin out, but I'm just going to make a straight stitch right across. Okay, so we're gonna make our straight stitch right across. I'm gonna take the pin out, set it aside. Cause you don't wanna sometimes stitch over your, your pins. Yep, so you wanna stitch straight across here. And as you can see, it's not a lot of stitching, so it's actually something you could do by hand. And then we're gonna stitch here on the other side. I'm gonna take the pin out and always put your pins back because you don't want to step on one accidentally. So then we're gonna stitch straight across again. And you can kind of hold on to the rubber, the piece of elastic. Even if you stitch over it, it won't matter. It won't hurt it. Oops. Take your time, go slow, you'll be fine. Okay, so I'll go over to the other table and show you our finished mask. Okay, so we are done. We made a mask in probably less time than it takes you to watch this video. Uh, this mask is not lined, it's not medical grade, it's just a simple face covering that you can make at home. Um, see, it puffs up. You've got the little, the little elastic on the side and you can open it up and it makes a really cool face covering. So remember our dimensions were nine by six inches wide like this, but if you need yours to be a little bit wider or smaller, you can make adjustments accordingly. And above all, please, everybody stay safe. Thank you for watching, bye. Okay, and this is what the finished mask looks like, but um, you, now this nine by six mask with these elastic bands, it might be a little snug for an average adult. So you might wanna switch your dimensions to 12 by six if you're using the elastic bands.